slowly got dragged into the printmaking room and I started exploring painting through the processes of printmaking. Um, and this happened about uh, seven to eight years ago and since then I've been continuing to develop monotype mainly and the capacity of the material, the limits where they can go and uh, the capacities of the support as well when they when they break through the material, when, when you know the, the plus and the minus, the, the borders that define these disciplines, and I operate on those peripheries, trying to enlarge the medium, trying to enlarge the practice. My techniques or and my my materials are very very traditional. I do what a printmaker does. I work with paper. I work with a surface which is a support for my image. The, but it, but it is the process that kind of um, emancipates from the traditional conditions of printmaking and 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 maybe I try to work within the, the what what a traditional printmaker would consider an error or a mistake. Um, well, so my practice operates within these mistakes, within these non-conventions of, of printmaking. Lately, I've been putting less conventional materials through the press as as dust sheets and plastic um, and seeing how, how, how I can manipulate those materials going through the press and arriving on the other side without breaking the press or corrupting the actual piece of work. It's very immediate, the work, it goes through a press and it comes out on the other side so in about 10 minutes I can see the result of a painting, I just need to let it dry. Uh, so that leaves me uh, what I call a session, which is for me a day of work in which I will do many, many, many pieces of work, most of it unsuccessful, some of it successful. But I can actually identify the work to a particular place, to a particular day, which kind of categorizes them into series, because today I might be using a color, tomorrow I might be using another color. Today I might have decided to use a particular paper, tomorrow a plastic, for example. I think along with the, with the American Abstractionist School, the Informalists in Spain would be my big influence and, 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 and so with that idea of um, exploring um, uh, unorthodox materials, uh, that maybe led me to explore painting in the print room, that kind of um, uh, bypass and, 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 and trying to explore a particular, a particular medium with, with, with different means. My experience of Manchester has been extremely positive. Um, I moved from Edinburgh to Manchester to, to, to start my MA and, and, and so my life has been pretty much uh, in the studios, uh, in, the in the printmaking facilities, which is great to have um, complete access to, to such an array of of materials and, and presses of high quality. There's not much more than just work, 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 which for me was a very, very good experience.